YouTube, what's going on? We're live on YouTube and on Instagram right now. Let's see. For those of you guys on YouTube, I uh, highly recommend you fast forward like a minute or two if you're watching the replay here. Um, as we wait for people to hop on, we got plenty of people on uh, Instagram. What's up, everybody? Hope you guys have an amazing week so far. Uh, I'm in Boston right now visiting my family. Also, also here for a big project that I'm working on for a client uh, that I'm doing some consulting for, that we're doing some consulting for out here. Haven't finalized the date yet, uh, or sorry, haven't finalized the contract yet, but um, it's definitely going good, all right, for a beautiful, amazing, cutting-edge e-commerce product. What better way to utilize your skills that make you money than to go ahead and consult for others that need your skills to uh, promote and push and market and sell their own e-commerce products, right? So for those of you guys that are hopping on here, we're just going to go ahead and talk about uh, this really great book, all right, great book that I highly recommend each and every single one of you guys check out. It's called The 4-Hour Workweek. Instagram, this is it right here. Boom, check it out, all right, by uh, Tim Ferriss, all right? Now, this book is a little bit controversial uh, amongst a lot of entrepreneurs, especially, especially internet entrepreneurs, all right? And in this book, as the title of the Instagram Live and also of the YouTube video says, this is all about the new rich. Okay, so Tim Ferriss realized there's this new class of rich calling them the new rich. And they are the people who only work four hours a week and also make a lot of money. Now, when I first picked up this book, probably same as you guys. By the way, has anybody on here ever read this book? Give me some thumbs up. Uh, put in the comments. Yes, I have just to kind of get a better idea. Um, if anybody's read a, this on here, I, I feel like a lot of you guys, especially if you're into the whole, uh, you know, building a business online type of space, then uh, you probably read this or seen it or heard of it mentioned, okay? Now, the reason, okay, the reason why there is a lot of controversy behind this book right here is because can you really, really only work four hours a week and, you know, build an income that, um, you know, allows you to live like the new rich, okay? And the new rich is all about people who have, you know, a lot of time, all right? Back in the days, people who had a lot of money were the ones who were considered rich. But nowadays, I mean, it's a little bit ambiguous. Uh, a lot of people are starting to value their time more. I'm not sure about you guys, but I definitely do value my time my energy and so you know sometimes like i could totally totally be able to make more money or there was months that i was totally able you know to work more hours and make more money but at the same time you know i realized that hey i rather i'll be more happy i will feel more satisfied and happy with my life if i spent that extra time with my family right so like i could totally be back in la right now working on you know, different projects and whatnot. But hey, why not come over to Boston and see my mom? You know, see my, my family in general, right? That will make me, you know, a lot more happier than making an extra couple of grand this week. Uh, don't get me wrong, you know, some of you guys might choose differently, but that's all because of maybe where you're at within your income. So I uh, highly, the reason, okay, the reason why I wanna hop on here and do a quick little review on this book uh, is to pretty much kind of kill the idea or suffocate the idea that, um, you know, making money online is strictly about automation, okay? Because I'll tell you guys what, making money online is definitely not the easiest thing, although it can be pretty simple and it will 100% be very, very worth it at the end, all right? I feel like if you're not making money online nowadays, especially if you're a millennial, then you are honestly, honestly playing yourself uh, to the next degree because you're being monetized online, all right? So what you guys need to understand if you're not making money online, you're not currently trying to figure it out, then you are the fool in the room, okay? There's a great quote. If you're at a poker table and you don't know who the idiot or who the fool is uh, within like 15, 20 minutes, then it's probably you. 
And so a lot of people using social media, buying things online, but they never opposite end there. All right. Uh, hopefully this doesn't keep happening, but I just got a call. <sighs> I hate when this happens with Instagram too, especially on this phone. Uh, it's like outdated phone. So let me just go ahead and put this phone on do not disturb so we can keep going here. All right. Now, like I was saying, right? A lot of people, you know, are being utilized with, uh, with, you know, or through, you know, internet, social media, YouTube, all that good stuff, but they just can't imagine themselves being on the opposite end, you know, profiting from it. So there's, there's gotta be, you know, a disconnect there that, you know, if you can't really see yourself making money online, the best way to do it is to get in contact with someone that's already making money online. All right, they'll help you realize that it's a lot more possible than you might think right now. Uh, for example, for me, I had a buddy of mine, Stephen Bransfield. I mention him a lot because I'm so grateful for having him in my life, in my career. And that dude has, you know, <laughs> helped me make a lot of fucking money. So, um, you know, so so definitely got to give props where it's due. And, you know, Stephen was the type of person that wasn't really rubbing you know, his results in my face, but he was the type of person to share with me what he's doing, what the type of results that he's getting, because one, he knows that I'm not a hater, all right, and I'm not going to be jealous of his success, and as a matter of fact, I'm going to use it as motivation. So that's that's the type of people that you want to get close to, all right? Find somebody that's already making money online, all right, that's already part of the new rich, right, who has that uh, lifestyle that you're looking for that's making you know money online and then you go ahead and you know just try to understand how they do it all right somebody that you can really trust that can you know once they explain it to you you can go ahead and accept it for what it is uh, because you know there's there's obviously a lot of people online that you know I'm one of them who, who share how to make money online and how to build uh, a profitable business online and uh, you know, automate your business as well. But at the same time though, you know, if you don't trust me, okay, I cool, I get it, all right? If you don't trust me, if you don't feel like I'm telling the whole truth and nothing but the truth, that's fine, that's your problem, right? But don't let that limit you from the idea of, uh, you know, finding someone that you can trust, that, that you believe, that you can say, hey, look, this person is making money online, and if I just learn how they're doing it, I can kind of get a better idea of how to go about it. All right. Uh, but there is there's again, there's a whole lot of speculation, a whole lot of back and forth on this book right here when it first came out, because Tim Ferriss was pretty much preaching, preaching the idea that, hey, you can make a full time income by just automating. OK, by just completely automating and outsourcing everything. And so when I read this book here, I wasn't making any more any any money at that point in time. Right? I literally was making zero dollars online, as a matter of fact. I was losing money at that time when I first picked up this book. And, you know, then I'm like, okay, well, probably the mistake that I'm doing is I'm not outsourcing enough. Okay. How many of you guys give me a thumbs up, uh, leave a comment. If you feel like, Hey, I'm not outsourcing enough. If that idea ever popped up into your head. Uh, and so once the, I kind of started thinking about that, then I'm like, okay, well, I better start outsourcing. So I would try to hire people to do things that I did not know how to do. All right. So, for example, I would try to outsource uh, Facebook ads when I didn't even know how to run a profitable Facebook campaign. And so a lot of people, OK, a lot of people are, are thinking the same way. Right. They're, they're running into the same trouble and thinking that, hey, by outsourcing, by getting some virtual uh, virtual assistance, all my financial issues are going to be gone. My business is going to be booming. And what I got to say to that is absolutely not true okay because what's funny about trying to outsource something that you don't know how to do is a couple different things all right the first thing is you're never going to be able to know how to get the results that you're looking for so you can give the proper instructions two if you don't know how to get those results the, or the most effective or cost efficient way then whoever you outsource it to whoever you hire to do that the job that you want done is going to spend your money, you know, ridiculously, especially when it comes to marketing, right? They're going to spend your money because they don't care about, you know, your profits, right? They're just trying to get paid, uh, you know, for the certain amount of hours they work. All right. So really, 
uh, in order for you to, you know, have that four hour work week, which I don't have by any means. All right. I fucking work my ass off. Like I work literally more than I did uh, when I was making a whole lot less money in door to door sales. All right. When I was in door to door sales, I would work from fucking eight in the morning, right? When we had our morning meetings to about five, six, seven, eight PM when the sun goes down, depending on what season. But the problem was one, I hated it. It was like always cold or hot, you know, and I wasn't getting paid enough for the amount of work that I was putting in. Now, when it comes to making money online though, I feel like the amount of work that you put into an online business, you can make 10 X, uh, returns from why? Because most online businesses, all right, I need you guys to listen and hear this out. All right. Most online businesses are front loaded, like business models. Okay. So what a front loaded business model is, it's it, something that takes a lot to start at first but all of a sudden you can start automating it. All right. You can start outsourcing some of the stuff like Tim Ferriss uh, suggests, and then you can go ahead and, you know, now you don't have to work as much on it because you already set up the website. You set up the Facebook ads, you set up uh, your customer support, your uh, product fulfillment, you set up your sales team, right? And all of a sudden now everything is uh, all about optimizing. So you don't have to, you know, constantly be creating new website, constantly be hiring new customer support, right? Once you outsource everything, now you work less, but you're making more, right? Because you already set it up in the beginning, you put all that front hard work in the in the start. And once you start automating everything and sales coming through, and now you're just taking the profits and reinvesting it back into your marketing, things are going to be a whole lot more consistent and your business is just going to be a lot more streamlined and a lot more uh or a lot less you know uh, attention needed to it okay so before you try to outsource or before you try to achieve the four hour work week i highly recommend you spend a couple of years uh trying to master every skill that you know you feel like is valuable Okay, because at the end of the day, for you to be able to build a business online or take advantage of any opportunity, really, you need the specific skill sets. All right. And the new rich, right? The, the, the idea of this new, the new rich are people who have the skill sets that the majority of people just lack. They don't have straight up. Okay, so I just got back from a meeting right now and I'm trying to help a client. Okay. I'm trying to help a client that, that, uh, I met a couple months ago to go ahead and let me take care of his advertising, his, uh, social media presence, generating leads, and also his e-commerce store. Okay. So pretty simple deal of clothes for the fact that, Hey, that's actually what I do, right? It's the skill sets that I've been mastering and learning for the past couple of years. And not only have I used these skill sets to generate results for uh, me personally, but also for a lot of our clients, a lot of our students have duplicated our blueprint. And so sitting across from this client right here, I have the absolute confidence that I can bring him results. And the reason why is because I have the skill sets. And so when I'm trying to, you know, get this deal or get this uh, new client to, to sign with us, it's not really a matter of being needy or being, you know, super, uh, salesy. It's just a matter of like, hey, if you want me to bring you similar results that I brought myself and my other clients with these skill sets, with this system here, um, you know, I could totally duplicate it for you. If not, you know, that's totally fine as well. Um, and so, you know, I guess, I guess the new rich, right? The new rich is all about having skill sets that make you money while you sleep. All right. That's totally possible. I'll never forget when, when our e-commerce store first started taking off and I'm like in the bathroom, you know, either taking a shit or uh, I'm out and about with some friends and like sales are coming in. And so I'm like, wow, this is literally the way that I've always wanted to live life is to be able to make money while I'm doing things that I actually enjoy. But again, don't get me wrong. It's not all about just working four hours a week. It's about being able to lock yourself in a room for a couple of weeks, right? For a couple months, even to put in that front loaded hard work that will pay over the next few months, the next few years, right? That your product uh, is, is still selling, right? 
as long as your product is obviously still still profitable and still uh, you know not obsolete, right? Then it's still gonna keep making money, right? Unless there's something new, then you need to put out something new, or you need to adjust to the marketplace or whatever you may be. But uh, I'm not here to try to sell you guys the idea of hey, look, all you gotta do is press one button to make money online and become part of the new rich. I'm telling you that hey. If you go ahead and sacrifice a couple weeks to build a online money making machine, like an e-commerce store, for example, right? If you build your own Shopify store or your own uh, e-commerce business in general, it'll take you a couple weeks to get it up there. But soon enough, you only have to give it four hours of attention to make sure that it's still operating right. Your, I mean, don't get me wrong too, I've had weeks where I've only worked four hours a week and still made a lot more money than when I was doing my door-to-door -door sales job, uh, but I don't really get fulfillment, okay? And some of you guys that are watching this right now will realize this too, no matter how much money you're making, you will always get more fulfillment from actually doing work. Or this, for example, right? When I go live on YouTube and on Instagram, it gives me fulfillment, all right? It makes me feel, Every time I go to sleep, hey, I didn't just make money for myself or my company. I also put value out there to help others that are like-minded, that are going towards the right path. Kind of like how my buddy Steven would motivate me when I was struggling door-to-door, -door, right? Like I'm going door-to-door -door and, and my buddy sends me a screenshot of uh, 250 grand in a month right all from you know living in, in Beverly Hills or, or in Miami, like from his apartment, all automated, right? And, you know, sometimes, again, it, it, it's natural to, to be somewhat, you know, jealous. I don't want to say envious. Envious is a super, super bad characteristic. You definitely want to stay from people, stay away from people with envy or who get envious. All right. Very, very dangerous uh, uh, personality trait or, or, or characteristic to, to have. Um, but I would get jealous, you know, I'm like, hey, but at the same time, I wouldn't just let that jealousy turn into envy. I would use that jealousy as motivation to say, hey, look, if my buddy Steven did it, then I can do it too. And I'm not saying that because my buddy Steven is, is not that smart. I mean, he's obviously pretty intelligent, but I'm saying because, hey, he's human. I'm human. You know, God created us all the same. So if he figured this thing out, I can figure it out too. Right. And it was just a matter of learning the skill sets that he had. And so for those of you guys that are either struggling right now, whether it be you're just a student, you don't even have any type of income. I've been there. Uh, maybe you you got a job to support yourself and your family, right? Because you don't come from a rich background. I can relate as well. I came from Africa. Um, maybe, you know, you're going to school and you got a job and, you know, you st it's still not enough for you to really go to sleep comfortably at night, then I recommend, all right, I recommend starting off, you know, working four hours, not a week, four hours a day, all right, start working four hours a day so that sooner or later you can deserve the four hour work week, all right, so start off by taking four hours of your day, all right, Whatever four hours of your day that you're wasting with friends, with TV, social media, trust me, trust me, you're spending four hours on that bullshit. Um, you can even check your iPhone right now too. They I have this new update where you could check how much time you spend on social media or all that good stuff. And I bet one thousand dollars right now that if we go on, you know, your phone, if you're complaining about right your income, you're not making enough money. If we go on your iPhone and check the stats. You have enough, you know, to put in four hours a day uh, to building, an, you know, your own business. Uh, now, what you will need, though, all right, what you will need is your own, okay, you will need a blueprint. Otherwise, you're going to keep running in fucking circles with your head cut off, all right? I did not do that. I got a friend. I got some mentors. Um, you know, my buddy Steven, one of them, Ty Lopez, obviously another one of them. And I used to learn from Ty in this fucking room right here on this desk uh, when I was first starting off. All right, when I was first starting off, literally this is where I got introduced to Ty on this desk and I started learning from him, okay? And my buddy Steven, there really wasn't too many other people. You don't need to learn from a thousand fucking people to be able to, uh, you know, make an extra three, five, ten grand a month, okay? All you need is one person, okay? And again, that could be me, that could be uh, my business partner, one, that could be any of my other friends, you know, it doesn't matter, but you got to choose one, Okay. Get the blueprint, get a coach, that's two, because the coach will give you the blueprint and walk you through the blueprint. 
Three, you need the tools and the resources, all right? Tools and resources is like a gold digger, not not literally the type, not the type of gold diggers in LA. I'm talking about the gold diggers in, uh, you know, in ancient times, right, during the gold rush. They needed tools and resources to be able to dig up their gold. Duh, right? Now, there was people who made from digging up the gold with those tools and resources, and then there was people who uh, made money from selling those tools and resources, right? The people who sold the shovels to the, the gold diggers. Um, and so that's, you know, that's two different, two different paths you can take, right? But what I'm trying to get at here, guys, is you need a blueprint, okay? You need a system that you can follow. It's already proven. There's no guesswork in it. Two, you need a coach that can walk you through this blueprint because oftentimes what can happen is you just hit that paralysis, you know, analysis paralysis. Like you can't figure shit out. You can't put two and two together. You are just lost in the sauce, right? So you need a coach that can say, hey, look, chill out, man. You're trying to do too much. Uh, you know, focus on this thing first, then move on to that, then this, okay? So really, a coach helps take away from your anxiety, right? One of the biggest things that people suffer from in this uh, generation is specifically anxiety and depression, all right? And depression and anxiety really kick in when uh, you feel like you can't do all right, you can't do uh, too much to really help your current situation. Like you feel helpless. And so a coach makes you realize that, hey, you are not helpless. You actually have something that you can do to move towards progress, okay? Helps relieve with your anxiety, with your depression, because they give you a clear blueprint and they help you through the tough times. Um, and then the last but not least, like I said already, is the tools and resources, which a coach can tend to, you know, point you to as well, right? Like, my buddy Steven would say, hey, look, look at this tool right here. I use it to build websites. I use this tool to, uh, you know, find good ads, right? I use this tool to send emails. Uh, and so all these tools and resources combined with a blueprint and with a coach pretty much guarantees your success, right? Pretty much guarantees it. Um, there's obviously no such thing as, as, as a full guarantee because it ultimately comes down to you. Uh, and so truth is most of this, most of the people that are watching this or going to watch the replay is going to be like hundreds of different people across the world uh, are just not going to do anything, right? They're not going to apply. They're not going to go out to get that coach, that blueprint, those tools and resources, and then take the action on it, right? They're just facts, unfortunately. But then there's going to be some of you guys on here that, hey, you realize that However much I put into it is what I'm going to get out of it. Just like most things in life, right? If you go to school, you don't study, you don't do your homework, you're getting Fs. If you go to college uh, or whatever, whatever school, and you put in a lot of work, you're going to get good grades, right? So same exact thing. Um, so please keep that in mind. Building an online business is, is kind of like, you know, going through college to get a good job, right? Not, not literally, but from... Um, Hold on one second. I keep getting these calls on here. So, oh, let me do this on Instagram, refresh it. So like, please do remember, I kind of did a little rant on this uh, a couple weeks back where if, if you or the average person goes through four years of college to get a 60K a year job, then please don't expect to work four hours a week and start making three, five, three to five hour or three to five grand a month. Okay, which you know again equals out to like, um, you know, equals out to like 50, 70k a year, right? So you got to be able to accept that and realize that. And as long as you have that type of mentality, well, hey, you know, I'm willing to put in the work. As long as I, you know, have that system, that coach, those tools and resources, then it really just all depends on you. So that's literally why we put together the Ecom Incubator. I know a lot of you guys that are watching this right now are already in the Ecom Incubator. Uh, it's something that I had been trying to put together for so, so long and uh, for such a good reason too, okay? Because when it comes down to really, really making it happen for yourself, it's hard to do it on your own. And there will always, always need to be this external source of motivation and guidance all right no matter what level we get to there's always always going to be uh something that we need to learn or invest in to be able to get us to the next level however when you're starting off right if you're just starting off you're literally in that position i was you know two three four five years ago where you don't have any money in the bank account or your source of income right now only covers your bills maybe a little bit for uh you know some savings or maybe you don't have a job at all and you're in school then 
you know, it's not really fair to you to have to invest a thousand or two thousand into a course uh, like most people try to sell online, right? You need something that, hey, you can hop in, you can start learning, you can start getting some guidance, some tools and resources, and to start getting introduced to different, you know, like-minded individuals, right? People that are in the same space as you, that have the same goals or similar goals and are working towards that every single day. If you are currently only surrounded by, you know, people who don't want to do much, who don't want to build an online business, who don't want to be part of the new rich, um, then you just won't be, okay? You just won't. That's just facts of life. You are the average. You are the sum of the five people that you are closest to. So unless you start surrounding yourself with those people, then you're forever, ever going to be held back. You're going to be constrained, right? It's like there's a rope, you know, pulling you back when you're trying to excel, right? Because your boys just want to do this or your friends just want to do this. When you're trying to excel, they want to stay in the same place. So it's hard to move forward when all you know is dummies, all right? Uh, so what I went ahead and did is I put together this for you guys right here. It's the H, it's the Ecom Incubator, all right? Literally, you could get a free trial right now. And what's going to happen is as soon as you hop in there, you're going to get the full blueprint that I use to go from struggling in door-to-door -door sales to... Uh, building my e-commerce empire with my business partner, Juan, uh, that literally allowed us to start living life on our own terms, okay? And so, here you go, Instagram, so you guys can go check that out. And be sure to schedule, okay, your uh, strategy session with your coach as soon as you hop inside the Ecom Incubator. Each and every single one of you guys will get your own, uh, will get your own strategy coach, okay? So you're gonna get your own coach that's gonna go ahead and figure out where you're at right now, where you wanna get to, um, and you know where you want to go ahead and uh, you know be in, in a couple months, in a year, in two years, all right? And they're also gonna go ahead and share the tools and resources with you uh, to be able to make that blueprint really come uh, to life for you, all right? To start making money for you. So, you know, unless unless you have a blueprint, unless you got a coach, then the four hour work week is is not gonna be possible for you to achieve because it takes a lot of, you know, it takes a lot of research, a lot of, uh, you know, trial and error to be able to make something happen on your own. And there's literally a chapter in this book that says, hey, find something that's already working. He calls it the muse. OK, and Tim Ferriss re refers to the muse as something that's already making money, that's already generating income online. So um, I'll give you guys an example, right? Like, you know, uh, if you see you know, Boston University had selling online like crazy, then obviously you coming in and selling a different variation of Boston University hats, although that's copywritten, not the best example, but you guys get my point, right? If you sell a different variation of this, you're probably going to be able to make a certain amount of money that's, uh, you know, that's being spent on Boston University hats, right? Because you're just duplicating the uh, the muse there. You're just capitalizing on the muse. Some people know as funnel hacking, right? You go into a funnel that's already converting, that's already selling, and you just model after it, right? Um, now, for those of you guys that do hop inside the Ecom Incubator, for those of you guys on YouTube, uh, I don't know where to write this link, honestly. Uh, let me see. Can I write stuff on YouTube? Okay, it's just, it's www.ecomincubator.com slash mastermind, or you can click the link in my bio, go to the programs tab, and you will go ahead and see the Ecom Incubator Mastermind. It's a free trial, then only like a couple bucks a month, $7 or, or $47 a month, whatever we have it at now. Uh, you get tons of bonuses just for hopping in there. And right away, you're going to get your own call with your very, very uh, personal guide, right? Your own coach there, which which nobody else is offering out there. So, uh, you know, you can't have the excuse of, hey, this is too much money because it's literally free to hop into. Two, you get your own fucking coach. So you can't have an excuse about, um, oh, like I need better guidance. You know, this is not valuable. Like, and you get the whole blueprint, all right? So if you need anything more than that, uh, just let me know and I see what I could do for you. But that's really about all you need. And then it all comes down to you. Okay, it comes down from here. It all comes down to you, all right? 
Uh, I used to be here in my place. You know, again, I used to share this room right here with my brother, right? His bed would be here and then my bed would be like right here. And there was literally days and nights on end uh, that I can remember clearly of me just being up here trying to crack that code, right? Trying to crack that code by myself. And until I met my boy Steven through some mutual friends, uh, and he started giving me that kind of, you know, I actually met him outside of a club in Boston one day uh, and he shared his story. Okay. After dropping out of college and moving to uh, literally like Singapore, I think it was Singapore across the world to learn from his mentor. Um, when he started learning from his mentor, then you go ahead uh, or sorry, I lost my train of thought. We got some haters up in or just one hater on, on Instagram, you gotta block him. I love blocking people. Um, but once he told me his story, you know, I was able to relate and he was still trying to figure it out, right? He was trying to crack the code himself and, you know, he ended up doing it before I did. And, you know, he was able to constantly, constantly share insight with me, share, you know, things with me that, um, one second that, you know, I wasn't able to find online that I wasn't able to really get access to anywhere else because there's always going to be some information that's just, you know, that, that these gurus don't really want to share with you. All right. I don't have a cap. Like I really don't have, you know, I don't really know how to uh, beat around the bush. So I let everything rip as it is uh, because I have nothing to hide. I have nothing to, you know, I don't have that scarcity mindset. We're like, Hey, I don't want anybody to know what I'm doing, you know? Um, I feel like there's tons of opportunity in this world, just a lack of people with the right skills to be able to make it happen. So hop inside the Ecom Incubator Mastermind, guys. I promise you it's going to be one of the best investments you ever made. And it literally costs just as much as like a cup of Starbucks each month, okay, to get tons of live trainings, tons of, uh, you know, live trainings like these right here, tons of tools and resources. And I have a specific surprise coming up for those of you guys inside uh, probably tomorrow, right? I, I mentioned it. I foreshadowed it yesterday before hopping on the plane, uh, but it's not done yet. And I have these meetings I get to get to. I got to hang out with my family for a bit. So I haven't been able to finalize it just yet, uh, but I have something huge for you guys. Super fucking huge. Uh, and it's in the tools and the resources section. All right. Just just uh, another hint there. So. I'll let you guys be. Love you guys so much. Uh, again, just wanted to share this book right here. Share the idea of the new rich and how you can become part of it. All right. It's all about skilling up, 10xing, doing more, not trying to work four hours a week, but four hours a day. All right. Until you can go ahead and earn the right to only work four hours a day. And trust me, even then, it's it's not going to give you any satisfaction. All you're going to do is... Uh, all you're going to do is want to work even more, all right? Because you see how, how easy and how simple it is. Somebody said the website isn't reachable. Um, that's weird. I would just recommend trying it again because that's definitely the website right there. Um, yeah, www.ecomincubator. You have to type it in as it is, all right? With the HTTPS forward slash forward slash www. It's just one of those things. Um it's just one of those things that you can't uh, like go go around. You have to type it in. So, um, oh, let's see. Boom, blue lifestyle. Okay, it says, how come I haven't gotten my coach yet? Okay, so what I recommend here, let me screenshot. All right, boom, blue lifestyle. If you can go ahead and DM me your email that you used to hop inside the P2P. I can go ahead and have one of the coaches reach out to you. I'll just throw in, in the uh, support chat that we have on WhatsApp. Uh, and you should see somebody reaching out to you. All right. I don't blame you that I would want my coach too if I was promised one. So um, again, love you guys so much. I will see you inside the incubator for uh, a training session either today or early on tomorrow. Peace. Love you guys.